Started. All right, y'all. So we're doing Miller 255, Miller Matic 255. We're changing the wire. How do you change the wire in the machine? So we already got the spool on here. Now on the spool, you want to check before you get started, before you unwind it, is it a top feed or is it a bottom feed? This one is a top feed. So you want to make sure that you have the spool lined up so that it feeds correctly. Because if you have it coming, if you have it flipped over, then it's going to be fighting. You're going to, it's not going to cooperate, right? You can have it that way. It comes up. It's not going to flow. So this was in here correctly. The other thing is you have this little notch and you have that tab there, right? So in order to get it flush, to get it in there right, you want to make sure that's in line. So here's a wire, our hard wire. This is 035 MIG welding wire. And it's propped there. And you wanna control it, be sure to not let it spring free because it will be a mess trying to chase it down after it gets it free. So you clip that little notch. We have this open. Generally, it's closed like that. Pop that open, get our access, go through. And then when we get inside of our liner, and then you don't have to push it much, you should be on a in line with the, with the groove there. Close it and it's attached. You need to put this back on. You don't have to put it on yet, but we put that on to keep it from dangling. Okay, now what you want to do when you're feeding this, if you got gas hooked up, you want to turn it off so you don't waste your gas while you're feeding it. So we can take our nozzle and our tip out, make sure it doesn't kink up and the, the tip doesn't stop it. And Get it as straight as you can. For whatever reason, if you lift this, it starts to flow a little better. So it's gonna go, it's gonna kick in in a minute. Once you hold the trigger down, the speed will kick up. It's called jog on the on the setting, setting there. See where it says setting? It says jog on the screen. That means just push and then pull it till it comes out. Say so exposed. Put your tip back on. And don't tighten these with welder. Just all you need is hand tight because you'll mess up the diffuser and strip it and do all that. So if you, uh, when you put it back on, you can clean this off a little bit. It looks like it needs to be cleaned. Get that cleared out. back on turn your gas on and you're back in action